This is David. You and every person you meet is a person created in the image and likeness of God. But too often we have trouble believing that. And as we have trouble, it seems to affect the way that we view ourselves and everyone we meet. But the good news that I have to, tell, to share with you today is that even when we have trouble believing that we are God's image, God never has trouble believing that about us. You see, as I read stories about the creation and God creating the earth and the sun and the moon and the plants and animals, every time it says that afterwards God said that they were good. But when God created humans, God looked at them and said, they are very good. And you see, they had to be. They had to be because they had God as their parent, as their creator. And God can only create in God's own image. But what does that image look like? What about something made in God's likeness. Well, I believe that since God is love, then that can only mean that you and I and everyone that we encounter is made in the image of love. We are created, created to be and to share love. But sometimes love is the hardest thing that we ha that we can try to share. Why? Well, because we know all about ourselves. We know about our our uh, fables and our errors and the things that we've done that were wrong. But you see. Until we can realize and remember that we are a beloved child of God, that we are made from a heart of love, then we will never be able to love ourselves and to love others. Now, I believe that we have completely misunderstood the story that we get this from. We get this from the story where Adam and Eve are in the Garden of Eden and they see this tree that God has told them they can't eat. And they reach up there and they take one of the fruit and they eat it. And all of a sudden God comes along and throws them out of the garden. But you see, why would God do this? You know, that'd be sort of like a parent having a two-year-old child and they put them in a room and they put a cookie jar there, and all of a sudden they, they come and they have just baked this nice batch of, of chocolate chip cookies that smell delicious, and they put the cookies in the cookie jar and they tell the child, now don't you dare eat those, and they leave, and the next thing you know, they hear the cookie jar opening and the child is eating the cookies, and they rush in there and they take the child and said, you have to get out of here. You can't live here anymore. Well, that would be ludicrous. And we would, we would not think any parent should act like that. Well, maybe it's time that we quit thinking that God acts like that. Maybe it's time that we remember that God has said there is nothing, no thing, that can separate us from the love of God. And if we're not separate from God's love, then how can we be separate from God who is love? Well, if you remember nothing else from this, from this video, then be sure and remember this. You are made in God's image and likeness. And nothing can separate you from God's love.
you might want to use it this week as an affirmation. I am made in the image of God, and nothing can separate me from God's love. I am God's beloved.